Hi, my name's Ian and welcome back to my Peugeot Boxer camper van build. This is episode seven. Uh, and in this episode, um, I've been quite busy sort of dealing with the wall units um, and also in the kitchen area, um, cupboards, that type of thing. So lots of little fiddly work. Um, so what we'll do is just jump into straight to the videos that I've been making and I'll come back to you at the end. Cheers. Uh, just a little update now, we're uh, just uh, sorting out the position of the battery box. It's got the battery sat in there. Uh, actually, it's got most of it quite wired up now as well, uh, which is uh, good. Um, what else have we been up to? Um, oh yes, we've tiled uh, the kitchen area. Uh, it's got some grout uh, to do. I've uh, got some black grout going to go in there. It's actually not nice when it's done. I've uh, got some uh, bit of plastic cladding to go around the actual opening itself. Um, I was going to tile it, but I um, didn't think the tiles would stick too well to the foil tape that's on there. So uh, I've got this uh, grey um, cladding today to go around it, which uh, just got some uh, plastic protection on there, which I'm going to leave on uh, until I get the uh, the grouting done. So uh, that should look nice when it's done. Uh, that's what I've got to Oh yes, I've uh, got some uh, stick-on tiles to go in the bathroom. Just thought the bathroom needed a little bit of colour in it. So it's, uh, Everything's all rather white in there at the moment, so uh, that's uh, in there. And then also with this grey cladding I've got as well, I'm going to have used it along this bottom edge here as well because I did have a joint. I had to extend the shower tray um, from the size it was just to get everything in. So uh, again, I've used this grey cladding. Again, it's still got the, uh, the protective tape on it as well, uh, just to keep it uh, from getting scratched there for a while. Uh, what else? Yes. Oh, I've yep, um, been putting some of the switches in again. Uh, that's um, the top switches for the bathroom and then the right ones for the um, the light uh, in the skylight and then the left one's going to be for another one of the strip lights which I've used at the bottom end uh, which will go once the unit gets back up in place it will go there. Uh, also um, I've got, bought a plastic, like a plastic uh, cloaking piece to go across over the top which looked horrible in plastic so I've now um, um, carpeted it which uh, doesn't look too bad and then in the opening itself I'm waiting for some um, insulation to come some stick on sort of 15mm thick stuff I think it is something like that which will uh, cloak that out and then I don't know, get a light up in there actually made some, some cheeks uh, yeah, it's not really got a light up in there as well I've uh, got some cheeks that go in the side there just to close it off on both sides but again it's a bit too dark in there you need to be able to see that um, so yeah the other thing I've done is um, temporarily mocked up the, uh, the sergeant unit so that now means that uh, so quite a few of my lights will work so uh, we have the let's darken that down a bit sorry so the uh, lights on there in the uh, in the bathroom area and if I flip this switch here, this one here, that then lights that one up. I've actually got a bit of a gap here at the top of the uh, um, skylight. That's obviously because the skylight's square and the ceiling curves. But actually I do quite like that. It's just a bit of glow that it sort of gives on there. So uh, I was thinking about closing the gap up, but I might just leave it as it is for now. But uh, we'll see uh, what happens there with that. So uh, yeah, that's where we are at the moment. You know, just a little update, I've uh, just uh, took the, uh, the sink out and took the cooker out as well um, so it was allowed to allow me to uh, do the grouting on the tiles there, so that's uh, all now done so look underneath there as well, so that's all nice grouted out uh, quite a warm day today, so it uh, should dry out quite nicely fairly uh, quickly than I thought but uh, yeah, that's uh, how we've got to the moment well, today's task is to, uh, to start fitting the doors. Uh, it's got the first two in here uh, just mocked up now. Uh, they've just got a few screws in there, just hold them in place just to get the uh, sort of the alignment out first. And then uh, once I've got that right, then I'll uh, obviously just uh, nip them up properly, put the extra screws in to stop them moving at all. But uh, yeah, first two in. That's uh, must be an easier task than I thought it was going to be. It's, uh, yeah. So uh, next task now is to uh, to do the ones on the other side here now. So we're going to go down here. These two, and then the next two. Uh, the other two I need to do down the far end, which I've also just made the uh, finished the framework for yesterday. Um, need to actually go back to Magnum Motorhomes because one of the doors, the uh, the covering on it, is actually upside down. 
<laughs> so it's uh, bearing in mind that these two are going to be the first that we look at when you first come into the van. Uh, it'll annoy the hell out of me the fact that the uh, um, the covering on the door is, is incor incorrect. So we're obviously going to have to wait till we get out of lockdown and wait till Magnums get more stock in as well uh, to be able to swap it over because I've checked their websites and they're out of stock of these doors at the moment. So, so uh, yeah, uh, what else have we up to? Um, Put the edging on for this wardrobe door here yesterday. Uh, fitted the light switch in there. Uh, I've got a surround now around the outside of the shower cubicle. Uh, put the tape off the uh, the grey strip that I put in there the other day. I just need masticing now. I need to take the toilet out um, so I can get the vent in for the uh, the Truma blown air into there. So uh, once I've got that done, I'll get the toilet back in. Then I've got a tampered all then to fit. Um, to go across to there. Uh, also got, we've got the back of the light switches there on here. Um, I'm going to put a cover over the top of those so obviously those wires don't get uh, get caught in the future. Um, going to be fitting the uh, the light that goes under here at some point probably today or over the next day or so. Um, what else have we done? Oh yes, um, made up a, uh, an edging piece to go up the side of the tiles here, just used the actual plastic that I got the other day, uh, the grey one, to get around the window. So I just made an edging piece up there, just scribed that in, looks, uh, looks nice. Um, sink, I took it back out again the other day so I could do the tiling and the grouting, so that's just in loose at the moment, so I need to get that all put back in again. Um, grouting, I think I might have put that in the last bit of the video, that's a shot. But, uh, yeah, that's, uh, very pleased with that, it's turned out alright, it's got a masticle on the bottom of there now, so I'll get the sink back out, get the, pull the cooker out as well, that's all plumbed in now, the, the cooker is with the gas and the electric as well on there. Uh, also as well, ran the electrics from the van battery back into the, uh, into the sergeant unit down there, got a few spare wires which uh, just need to tuck away, in fact I'm going to use a couple of them for one or two other bits and bobs uh, that I've thought about, but uh, yeah, that's where we're sort of at the moment. Well, there we are. That's all of the uh, all units uh, sort of complete. Got all the doors on there now. Uh, one thing I've noticed is, and if anyone is planning on buying any of these doors from Magnums, uh, note to uh, <laughs> note to yourself is to make sure that the patterns line up on the doors because we've got we've got one there where the pattern doesn't quite line up properly on there because uh, obviously it's just a uh, a covering that they put on, and I think they just literally make hundreds of these. Uh, but then the so obviously just make sure that the, the pattern does line up on there. This one here on the, the over the kitchen area, I've picked that one as the best one of, as a match to try and make that look right because it's obviously that's the one you're going to be looking at all the time. Uh, and then the one over the over the bed, it's not brilliant, but uh, it's not really again too much uh, that really annoys me about it. But uh, as I mentioned earlier on, the uh, the one I'm going to be using over the uh, over this area here is really bad, hence the reason I won't put it on. So let's wait now for uh, Magnus to reopen um, and uh, you have to go up there and swap it out. So yeah, that's where we are now. Uh, the other thing I've been up to is that the insulation arrived the other day uh, for this over cab area and I also then carpeted it now as well. So I'll just uh, light it up. The cheeks are done. Uh, makes a hard of a difference to, uh, to the noise it was making. Uh, we got like a heavy rain or something, it was thundering in there, but uh, obviously now it's uh, a lot, lot quieter than what it would have been before. Now it's got the insulation on there and also the carpet on there as well, so that's uh, that's turned out well now as well. Uh, just an update to what I've been up to uh, over the last few days. Uh, I've now been making up the end panels for the, uh, the wall units. Um, Doors all fitted. I've just got to fit the handles now, which I've, uh, I've now got. Uh, that's the other end panel going on there. It's actually really chucking it down with rain, so I'm not going to give you a view of the uh, of the back end of it at the moment because it's, it's absolutely throwing it down and I'll get soaked. Uh, but yeah, that's the uh, all units sort of complete really, instead of apart from the handles. Um, made up one of the doors for the, um, the small wardrobe um, just on this side down here. I'm uh, just waiting uh, for some more trim to come uh, for the, uh, the for the edges because I've actually made up some uh, like some batten just up here to take the uh, for the door to run up against and also uh, just on the other inside here as well I'll make it much lighter there you go uh, I need a bit of uh, strip to go on there as well uh, and then also along the uh, the bottom edges and also into the top edge as well. And, uh, 
some stripting on there as well. So uh, yeah, just placed an order for that. It should hopefully be with me in the next few days or so. Um, just also been doing more or less the same thing um, down in the uh, in the kitchen area as well. Um, I've made the door up for this left hand side that's just in the garage uh, the strip on it's just drying off at the moment because I've just stripped all the edge out on that now as I said I've now ran out of strips so I was waiting for some more to come um, just fix the plinth into place um, so that's giving me a guide now of where everything else is going to go to on that sort of just basically working on this kitchen area at the moment uh, so next job really is to start um, fitting out the inside um, of, of the, the kitchen sort of under sink area uh, I've got some pull out uh, wire um, drawers they are going to be inset within the, within the door itself you can actually fit the drawer fronts to them but uh, it's pretty trivial I think it might be a bit too complicated to do at this moment in, in time so I'm just going to make a big door just to go on this section here so that's that and uh, just moving down the other end here uh, that's the uh, end panel now uh, sorted out for, the, for this uh, the kitchen wall cupboard uh, just started setting this up now, um, like the communication sort of area. It's not complete yet, it's just sort of mocked up really now with, with the uh, the Truma unit set in, in there. I've actually got a fault come up on there at the moment, that's because I've not got the um, the room sensor fitted at the moment, so uh, that's why it's showing that. Um, I've got a cover plate which goes over the top of around the outside of that, which I've not got fitted either. Plan is to actually carpet this, but I'm still waiting for. Uh, the, the gasset um, under tank uh, gas gauge to arrive which will probably get fitted around here somewhere I've also got fit probably above this door is the, the thermostat sensor for the Truma unit as well uh, so that's that um, I think it's about all of that done now oh yeah decided to fit these doors in the end um, these are the ones which were a bit mismatched but to be truthful we then put them up once the cupboards were completed so I'll put them up a bit of a tree, but I don't actually mind. So uh, they've now gone up now. Uh, again, it's got the handles to fit on those. Uh, what else been up to? Uh, tiling is all completed now. I've got the, uh, the cupboard, uh, sorry, the light under the kitchen sink. Uh, sorry, above the kitchen sink and over the cooker. Um, cooker's all plumbed in now. Uh, I can't do anything more with the gas uh, until uh, I've got some uh, some couple of bits from gas. It I'm still waiting for. Um, for the Underslum gas tank, uh, I mean that's all in store. It's just literally a, a length of pipe um, and two gauges. Um, as I said, obviously with the lockdown, obviously gas it is shut at the moment, so uh, can't do anything with that. Um, what else have we done to? Not done anything more in the bathroom. Oh, the only thing I, do, I still do need to do in the bathroom is I need to pull the toilet back out and I need to drill a hole through the side wall. Uh, for the um, the Truma gas vent, sorry, um, heat vent to uh, come in there, and I've also got a, uh, a tambour door to fit in here as well. Which, so once the toilet comes out, it'll make life easier to get the tambour door in as well. It's going to be a bit more access space to do that. So uh, that'll be a dry day job because I need to disconnect because uh, the, the toilet's actually all plumbed in at the moment. So I just need to disconnect it off the back, uh, disconnect the wiring, and then um, unscrew it from the outside <laughs> it's sort of like you have to go through the access door and then it's screwed uh, into a, into the floor uh, via four screws just need to pull those back out and then the whole toilet can come back out again so I said that'll be a sort of job do the tambo door and also do the uh, the vent uh, at the same time but uh, yeah it's sort of where we are now um, oh the other thing I've sort of done is I've got all the, the 240 volts is now more or less up and running. I've got one more uh, section to to put in of 240 volts, um, which probably today I'll end up actually building the unit for it. So down here, where we've got the uh, the seating area, so I've got a um, section of uh, um, furniture will come across here and across there as well, and there's going to be a 240 outlet somewhere around there, and also I've also got the outlets there for the uh, for the trim unit as well. So, but also I've still got to build this floor up here as well, so that's got to come up to the same height as uh, the floor. Of the cab just around by the seating area there so uh, when you're sitting at the table your feet are touching the floor rather than dangling but uh, yeah that's sort of where we've got to now um so yeah, the other thing i built as well which more common, it as well is the uh, the sort of in intermediate sort of section there which obviously takes the 240 sockets uh double light socket for these two lights on either side here 
but also as well as all cabling all runs up the back of there as well so any more cabling I might need to route um, above is obviously taken care of there's some holes in the worktop behind and also in the unit above so I can drop cables uh, through whenever I need to on that uh, but you know just sort of getting towards the finishing off stages of quite a lot of this now in here obviously I've still got to deal with uh, the sliding door I'll probably end up getting carpeted and uh, got like a panel for the bottom make a panel for the top uh, and then probably carpet the midsection obviously still got some insulation to do in there same with the back doors as well um, still deliberating whether to actually stick a window in one of those back doors um, sort of the wife sort of saying nah I don't really need one but um, I don't know sometimes at night you want that bit of ventilation so you can just obviously crack a window open onto night light uh, and just get a bit of air in there they're saying that could always crack the, the skylight but the end problem with that is if it starts to rain obviously it then starts to come in but uh, yeah, I might just uh, have a think about that one for a bit longer, but uh, yeah, that's sort of where we are now. Well, as you can see, I've been busy over the last uh, couple of weeks. Um, sorry for not putting up a video a bit quicker, but I've uh, just been uh, rather busy, as I said, doing all the bits and bobs. It's, uh, it's all fiddly work, and it all takes a lot of time, obviously a lot of cutting and all that sort of stuff as well. And uh, yeah, it's just... Uh, eats up your time a little bit but uh, anyway um, if you've got any questions please ask uh, please tick a like and uh, please subscribe and I'll see you again in the next episode thank you very much cheers